Number 23. An automobile starter motor has an equivalent resistance of 0.05 ohms and is supplied by a 12 volt battery with a 0.01 ohm internal resistance. Letter A. What is the current to the motor? All right. So let's just write down a couple things we know. So uh, just be careful with the wording here. It says the automobile starter motor has an equivalent resistance. We might be fooled into thinking that the whole circuit has that equivalent resistance. It, they're just saying that the battery, uh, excuse me, that the starter motor's resistance, all right, is uh, 0.05 ohms. And the battery, they also tell us, is supplying a voltage. So that, by definition, is an EMF, all right? It's, it's also a voltage, too. But, you know, it's the total voltage supplied by the battery, basically, so 12 volts. It also tells us the internal resistance, which is little r. You know, this internal resistance in the battery is not like a different type of resistance from the resistance experienced inside the starter motor. It's just the resistance inside the battery. Well, okay. Right? We sometimes don't, uh, we have to consider it when we're talking about total current flowing around a circuit. But when we're thinking about, you know, the actual amount of power supplied by this or to this uh, starter motor... Uh, we have to basically, quote-unquote, subtract out the resistance to overcome um, inside the battery. All right. Uh, so this is 0 0.1. No, 0 0.01. And that's ohms. All right. And, um, yeah, what else did they give us? That's it. So it says, what is the current to the motor? So just take a minute to just, you know, take a minute to relax. Go get yourself a drink, right, of water, not anything else. You know, and just kick back and uh, enjoy the problem. Um, so uh, what we need to do here is we're going to uh, be calculating the current to the motor. Now, we have to take a step back and realize that the these two elements, the battery and the uh, motor here, are connected in series. And what is constant in series? The current, right? I, I remember it as is, I-S. Current, that's the symbol for it, is constant in series. Okay, we know that voltage is constant in parallel, VP. All right, so always kind of keep that in mind. So basically what this tells me is that if I can find the total current flowing through the circuit, then I know that total current will be constant through the battery and through the motor. And that's what I need to know in order to find the voltage applied to the motor, which is the question. Sorry, no, that's the second question. I, when I went back to read it, I realized... That the little b is there. So never mind. That's the second question. But you'll see where this is going now. Um, we first have to find the current to the motor. Okay. And that current to the motor is going to be the same as the total current to the circuit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Ohm's law here. I'm going to write it like this. That the total current to the circuit will equal the total voltage supplied to the circuit divided by the total resistance of the entire circuit. Now, what's the total voltage? supplied to the entire circuit. I'm not saying to this element right here yet. I'm saying to the whole darn thing. That is equal to, and the same thing as the EMF of the battery. This is like the maximum amount of current that the battery will be supplying to everything, including its own internal resistance. So it's 12 volts. Then the total resistance now is a summation between the resistance inside the battery and the resistance of the starter motor because... These two are connected in series to one another, and we know that resistances in series are simply added on together. So, just add them. 0 0.05 plus 0 0.01. Take out that handy-dandy calculator, right? And it'll be 12 divided by, parenthesis, 0 0.05 plus 0 0.01, which is 0 0.06. And it comes out to 200. 200 now amps, Okay. That is the total current, and we just already stated that if the total, you know, current is con uh, current is constant in series, and therefore this is indeed also the same current supplied to the motor. So this is 200 amps. Now, that's letter A. Letter B. I think you see this one now. Letter B. What's the voltage supplied to it, meaning to the motor? Just simply use Ohm's law. V. V is equal to I R. Okay. So the voltage uh, supplied to the battery will equal the current flowing through the battery multiplied by the resistance of the battery. See how consistent that is? And all we got to do is just plug in our values. Obviously, notice I'm not using the total volt, uh, the total resistance this time. Okay, I am simply now using the uh, resistance of just the battery itself. 
So when we do the math here, we're going to get 10 volts. Easy enough. Sig figs, you know what to do. So let us see. Uh, what power, right? What power is supplied to the motor now? So again, if I want to find power to the motor, check out, by the way, number seven. I went through a lot of, I went through a detailed analysis of how to think, um, you know, through uh, each particular element of a circuit. So if I want to know the power supply to the motor, I can choose probably any formula I want over there on the uh, right hand side. Doesn't really matter because we had some calculated values in there whatsoever. Um, so just choose one. I like PIV. P is equal to IV. Okay, PIV. So the power to the motor equals the current to the motor times the voltage supplied to the motor. So do it. 200 times the 10, which comes out to be 2000 watts and uh that's letter c and then letter d repeat oh you gotta be kidding me <laughs> repeat these calculations for when the battery connections are corroded and add 0 0.09 ohms to the circuit all right so basically all we're going to do is we're going to go back to the original formula i'm going to let you calculate it from here because it's very easy um, so just consider the original formula we used that the total current was equal to the total voltage supplied divided by the total resistance. All of these are now connected in series still because the, the, the battery connections are corroded, whatever, and it's harder for the current to now flow. So there is a, an additional now resistance in the circuit. So you're going to take the total voltage supplied, which is still that EMF that hasn't changed. It's just that the resistance has gone up, but they're all connected in series. So you're going to take the 0.05, add it to the 0.01, and then add that also to the 0.09. Okay, this is all in the denominator. Take 12 divided by this sum, do your calculations, and literally just follow it through again. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope that helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. We appreciate it really uh, very much, and I uh, look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.